on your mat with your legs stretched out in front. Just um, sit up nice and tall. Let's hold behind those thighs and pull yourself forward onto your front bottom. And holding onto those thighs, let's let that back uh, slouch so that we go back onto the tailbone. So we're focusing on the pelvis, pelvic tilt. Lift ourselves up, pull forwards onto that front bottom. And then let ourselves slouch back so the tailbone goes back onto the floor. So my chest comes forward a bit, so my back's rounded. So I've got a baggy jumper on, it's not so easy to see. So pull yourself up into the centre. Hold on to those backs of those thighs and pull right forward onto that front bottom. And then find that middle position where your um, seat bones are pushing hard into the floor. And then just lean onto that right side so the left side comes light. And then lean on that left side so the right side comes light. So feel how heavy your body is when it's all on one seat bone. And then roll over onto the right side. Feel how heavy the body is into that seat bone. Do they feel the same? Does one feel more used to having your body weight? Go over onto the left. So my left side feels like that's quite different. So I obviously sit a bit over onto the right. Put both seat bones down and just wiggle side to side. And make sure that you've got an even load. And then look down with your chin. And is your nose above your breastbone? Is that above your tummy button? And is that above your crutch? Bring those eyes up to horizontal, taking those knees down towards the floor. Then lean your body forward, so lean onto the front bottom, pushing the head over towards the toes. And then release that back so it rounds and pull those armpits down towards those um, knees. Keep those toes pointing straight up. Pull those shoulders away from the ears and then lift yourself back up to vertical. Relax those knees onto the floor, roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Pop the hands on the floor, pull those elbows together. <coughs> Breathing in on the out breath, lift that chest up, take that chin up to the sky. Breathing out, bring that chin down into the chest. Pull on those heels so you pull yourself and stay forward on that um, front bottom. Turn the eyes to the left side of the left leg, lifting that right ear from the right shoulder. And then swing that head across so we look to the right side of the right leg, pulling that left ear away from that left shoulder. Bring those eyes back to the centre, pulling those shoulders together. And then lift those eyes all the way up to the ceiling. Push that chin up into the sky, lift that chest up, breathing in. And on the out breath, bring those eyes to horizontal, bring those arms up. Holding those hands up above your, uh, uh, in front of you, Jane, hands up in front. Lift that chest up and then slowly rolling down to the floor. So pushing that pelvis flat, pushing off that tailbone onto the pelvis, pushing onto that waistband. Pushing onto those bottom ribs, onto the middle ribs, top ribs, head goes down, arms all the way over the head. Push those fingers away from the body, stretching the shoulders up to the ears. Pull those shoulders down towards the waist. Take those arms up to the sky, pivoting around those shoulder blades. Bring those arms back down, pointing to the feet, chin into the chest. Slowly rolling up, so I'm pushing my pubic bone, so I'm pushing my pelvic area into the floor, tighten the tummy muscles around the pubic bone, all the way up, reaching all the way forward, soften your knees and come to the armpits over those knees, holding onto those feet, pushing the head towards those toes, breathing in. And on the out breath, push the right knee down, push the left knee down, push both knees down. Sit yourself up nice and tall, push that head up to the sky, breathing in, arms up horizontal, breathing out, collapse that spine, go onto that tailbone, rocking it, pushing that pelvis flat on the floor, pushing those hands towards the feet, pushing the pelvis flat, then the waistband, then the lower ribs, then the middle ribs, then the top ribs, head comes down, arms all the way overhead, breathing in, on the out breath, reach those hands away, shoulders come up to the ears. 
Breathe in, pull those shoulders down to the waist. Breathe out, bring those arms all the way up to the sky, chin into the chest. Push that waistband in the floor, push that pelvis into the floor. Lift yourself all the way up, rolling, rolling, rolling. Hands on those legs, reaching, reaching, reaching right down to those feet. Pulling your body forward, armpits over the knees, holding onto those feet, pushing that right knee down into the floor, release. Push that left knee down to the floor, release. Push both knees down to the floor and then lift yourself up to vertical. Rolling those shoulders up to the ears, round and back. Rolling those shoulders up to the ears, round and back. Put the left hand on the right knee, right hand behind. Turn in the curve of that right shoulder. And then come back round to the front and put the right hand on the left knee, left behind. Lift that chest up high and turn to look over that left shoulder. So the chest is up. And then come back round to the front. Um, grab your roller in. It's going to roll down again, but we're going to grab the roller in. Okay, so we're not going to do too much on the roller. We're just going to open that back up. So bring the roller in and rest it at those bottom ribs. Breathing in. And on the out breath, taking the head in the hands. Breathing out, push that breastbone up to the sky. Empty those lungs. Let the head come all the way down to the floor, pushing the breastbone up. Breathe in at the bottom. Breathe out, lift yourself all the way back up. Move the roller a few centimeters, breathing in. Breathing out. Empty those lungs. Push that chest up, breathing in at the bottom. Breathing out, bringing that head into the, uh, up towards the, chair, the chest, set yourself up. Move the roller up a small bit more, breathing in. Breathing out, push that breastbone up to the sky, let that head come down, let those shoulders just relax. Breathe in at the bottom. Breathe out, bring yourself all the way back. Lift that tailbone up off the floor and just roll the roller up to the base of the neck and then roll that roller down towards those bottom ribs, opening. When you get to the bottom, go back up to the base of the neck. So you can either walk your feet, you can pull from your feet, you can drop your bum on the floor so that you bounce along, you can keep your head up and your tailbone up slightly. So moving it all the way down to those bottom ribs and then moving it all the way back up to the base of the neck. Moving it down to those bottom ribs and then rolling, put the bum on the floor and then lean over onto that left, uh, sorry, right hand side. So I've got my bum on the floor, I've got my elbow on the floor supporting my head. So the other top arm, just relaxing, and then just shimmy your body on that roller, shimmy it up and down. So I'm just doing little backwards and forwards, taking that roller up into that armpit, right into that armpit, little, little shimmies up and down, and then I'm going back again, Shimmying up and down. And then back into the bottom ribs. And then one more, using the bum on the floor, can support the head with the underneath hand. I can move the elbow. So I'm just massaging that soft tissue. I can straighten that underneath arm and then go back up again. Good. And then when I guess go back up, I'm going to rotate onto my bum, but hold onto the roller with my elbow. So I go onto the rib cage area, hold onto my head, breathing in, just do a little up and down in that middle. And then I can rest my bum on the floor again and turn over onto the left. So resting the bum on the floor, resting the elbow on the floor, resting the head on that left hand. I'm just going to do little bit ups and down, so little shimmies, and then move that roller up the side. Feel those gristly, grindy bits into that armpit. I can put that underneath arm straight here and stretch uh, roller through that armpit. 
And then I can go back, resting my bum on the floor, using my feet to push myself up. Got my right hand on the ground, support my head if I need. Little shimmies up and down. Grabbing along. And then get down to those bottom ribs. And then one more, go back. Grabbing up and down, get to that armpit so I can straighten the arm and then I can grab my way back up. And then roll over onto the bar, elbows on the um, roller, lower, uh, middle backs on the roller and just take the head in the hand one more time and just do a little down and a little up. And then rest the bum on the floor. Put the elbows on the roller and lift yourself back up. Holding yourself up nice and tall. So let's move that roller. So today we'll do a bit more kind of balanced stuff. I'm not going to use, I think I'm not going to use the centre board. We're going to use the roller, so don't put it too far away. Use it later on. Okay, so lifting yourself up nice and tall. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, round the back. Bring those arms in front. Breathing in and on the out breath, lowering down to flat. So pushing that lower, that lower pelvis, getting the pelvis flat on the floor, getting the waist going, getting the ribs, taking the head down, take that arm, those arms overhead, breathing in. On the out breath, push those hands away from the feet. Stretch and take that right hand over to the left side of the mat. Take hold of it with that left hand if you want. And then walk those feet to the left, keeping those hips on the floor. Cross that uh, right, uh, left leg over the right, so we keep that down. Keep that right hip down, keep the right shoulder down. Really reach and stretch through that right side. And then walk those feet back to the middle. Walk those hands over to the left. Walk those feet over, sorry, to the right. Walk those feet to the right. Pulling that left hand away. So we're stretching that left side. Cross that right leg over the left. Really stretching the left side, keeping the left hip down, left shoulder down, pushing, reaching. And then bringing those feet back in, bringing those hands back round. Bring those arms all the way up into the sky, shoulders down by the waist, and then pull those arms all the way down next to your side. Slide the top of your fingers under your bum, palms up, breathing in. On the out breath, push the backs of those arms into the floor, squeeze those shoulders together. And then release, breathing in on the out breath. Push those elbows, tops of the elbows into the floor, come up onto the back of the head. Breathing in, fill those lungs up with air. Breathing out, lengthen the neck, lengthen the head away from the shoulders. Stretching, breathing in, breathing out. And then release down to the floor. Bring that right knee into the body, bring that left knee in, hug the nose to the knees. So we curl the back, so we arch it and then curl it, curl it up and then release. Roll those shoulders into the floor, slide them down towards the waist. Push the top ribs, middle ribs, bottom ribs down, turn the tailbone down so there's a slight lift in the lower back. Draw in the core like you're stopping yourself having a wee. Take the feet away from the bum. Up those arms on the floor, take that left leg over, put the foot on the floor, take the right leg over, put the foot on the floor. So we stabilize the torso and we lengthen those legs out straight in order to be able to do the next fish pose. Bring those hands in under the bum, breathe in. On the out breath, push off those elbows, lift onto the top of the head, stretch that chest up, pushing those elbows in the floor, pulling those shoulders around behind you. Drawing in your core, breathing in, fill the lungs up with air, lengthen those legs, breathing out, pull the shoulder blades together behind your back and lower yourself all the way down to the floor again. Bring that right knee in, bring that left knee in. So we're in neutral spine when we move the legs. Flatten the back in the floor, bring the nose to the knees, hug yourself up and release. Roll those shoulders into the floor, slide them down. Make sure all those ribs are on the ground. Make sure the lower back slightly lifted. And then drop those knees out to the side. So we're in neutral spine. We're going to stretch those legs. 
Holding those knees apart, feel the inner thigh stretching. Pushing the shoulders away from the ears, lengthening that spine. Breathing in, holding those knees apart, breathing out. Push those knees into the hands. Push those knees into the hands, breathing in. Breathing out. Holding those knees there. Breathe in on the out breath, release. Don't let, uh, let the, stop the push into the hands and let those knees just hang apart. Let them hang apart. Lengthen the arms away, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Straighten that left leg out straight. Straighten that right leg out straight. Let's you know, see if you can hold the legs out there, see if we can lock those knees. So I have to, maybe I slide my hands down my thighs so my feet aren't so close to my head. Holding those knees apart, circles with those feet one way, and then circles the other way. And then bend the right knee in, bend the left knee in, pull those legs back together. Pull the knees into the chest, keeping the tailbone down on the floor. Don't lift, don't curl that lower back, so keeping it neutral. And then let go of the left leg. Send this away to straight. Push that leg away from the, from the uh, right leg. Pulling that right knee up towards that, that shoulder, stretching in that hip. And then bring that left leg back up. And then send that right leg away. Keeping the hips square, don't let them uh, tilt. Pulling that <clears throat> left knee up to the left shoulder, keeping those shoulders away from the ears, keeping that right leg long. Breathing in on the out breath, jaw in the core, bring that right leg in. So there's no movement of the spine as we move the legs. Jaw in the core, let that left leg go out. Pull that right leg in, stretching, and then pull that right leg over your body. Push that left leg straight. Push that right arm away. Breathing in, breathing out, trying to turn the right ear to the floor, trying to bring that right knee all the way over, trying to bring, take, push that right hand away, breastbone to the sky, tummy button turning, lengthening, breathing in, breathing out. Roll on, over onto that left hand side, take hold of the right foot in that right hand. Draw the core in, make sure that the pubic bone, tummy butt and breastbone are aligned. Pull that right shoulder uh, back and down. Let that left foot go forward a bit to keep your balance and then push that right foot into the right hand and lengthen. Stretching through that, feel the stretch in the front of that right leg, feel it in the front of that hip. Really trying to push that right leg away. Stretching through the front of that hip. Breathing in, breathing out, release. Roll back onto the back, pull that right knee in towards your hip. Turn that right foot, put it on that left foot. Bring that leg up, pull that left leg in, push that right leg away, pushing that right knee away. And then release that right, left leg, release the right foot, hold that right knee. Pull that right leg over the body, pushing that right hand away, lengthening. And then release onto the back. Let that right leg go away to straight. Push those hands over the head, reach and lengthen, and then pull the shoulders down to the waist, bring the arms up to the sky, bring that left knee in. Pulling that left knee up, pushing it away from the other leg. Pulling that left leg over your body, pushing the left hand away, pushing the left shoulder on the floor, left knee on the floor, eyes to the left hand, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Roll over onto that right hand side. Support the head with the underneath arm. Let that uh, right foot go forward a bit. Take hold of the left foot in the left hand. And then push that foot into the hand, extending that leg behind you, feeling the stretch in the front of the leg, in the front of the hip. Breathing in. Breathing out. Stretching through that hip. And 
and then rolling back onto the back. Bring that left knee in. Pushing that foot away from the, those legs away from each other. And then pull that leg all the way over the body one more time. Push that left hand away, eyes left, left ear to the floor, left knee to the floor. Stretching through those ribs. And then rolling back onto the back. Let that left leg go straight. Bring those arms up to the sky, push those hands away, pushing the arms on the floor. Push those hands away from the body. Push those feet away from the body. Breathing in on the out breath. Bring those arms up to the sky. Pull those shoulder blades into the mat. Flatten that lower back and then release so that we have a little lift off that lower back. Pelvis is in neutral. Spines in neutral. Bring those arms down to, to your pelvis. Feel your pubic bone. Feel the bony bits on the side of your pelvis. Are they horizontal to the floor? Mine probably aren't. So I'm going to tilt the tailbone down a bit and find the neutral position. I'm going to pull those lower ribs into the ground. Pull the rib, middle ribs, pull the top ribs, pull those shoulders down into the ground. Holding this spine in neutral, drawing that core in like I'm stopping myself having a wee. I'm going to bring that right foot to my bum, sliding it on the floor. I'm going to slide that right foot out straight. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Slide that right foot in. No movement of anything other than that right leg. Slide that right foot out. Slide that right foot in. And then bring the knee towards the chest. Take hold of behind of that knee with your hands and pull that knee in without letting that pelvis move. Hold that knee there. Rotate it round so the foot goes back on the floor. Bring that knee back up. Put that foot back on the floor. Bring that knee back up. Hold it there. Take that leg out straight parallel to the floor. Draw that core in. Don't let that back arch. Lift that knee back in. <clears throat> Push that leg back out. So it's different doing this leg movement with the other leg straight. Bring that knee back in. Feel the body wanting to do other things. Take that leg out. Make sure you're keeping that torso long. Bring that knee back in. Good. Holding that knee bent. Holding that knee bent. Straighten the leg straight up into the sky. So it's hard to straighten. Hold behind that thigh. Hold behind that thigh and then really straighten it. Point that toe. Flex that foot. Point that toe. Flex that foot, circles with that foot one way, big circles. One more, and then three circles the other way. One, two, three. Flex the foot, bend that knee, pull that leg up towards that foot over your head, and then let go behind the leg and straighten that leg so it's up above the hip. Point the toe. Flex the foot, do a circle with that leg. All the way around, so it's above that hip. Good circle with that leg the other way, keeping it above the hip. Good, pushing those shoulders away from the ears, keeping neutral, lower that leg straight down to the ground. Good, point that toe, lift that leg up into the sky. Flex that foot, lower that leg down to the floor and relax it. Okay, other leg. So first of all, let's get neutral spine. So my lower ribs were lifting off the ground. So I'm going to roll my shoulders into the floor, slide those shoulders down, make sure all the ribs are touching the floor. Flatten that lower back, <coughs> arch it. Put my hand on the pubic bone and on the edge of my pelvis, make that horizontal to the floor, that line. Take those hands away, put them on the floor. Draw the core in like you're stopping yourself, have a wee. Bring that left knee upwards and slide that left foot in towards the bum on the ground. Slide that left leg out to straight. Slide that left leg in on the ground. Slide that left leg out straight. Slide that left leg in and then bring the knee up over the waist so the leg's bent. And then rotate that leg so the foot touches the floor. So it's heel tap, keep the shoulders away from the ears. Bring that knee up, keep those shoulders flat on the floor. 
Keep those ribs on the floor. Take that leg over so the foot rests on the floor. Bring that leg up so the bottom ribs are touching the floor. Shoulders are pulled down. Release, put that foot on the floor. Bring that leg up and the knees bent. Keeping all those ribs on the ground, extend that leg out straight. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Don't push on that right leg more than usual. Bring that left knee in. So the work comes from the tummy. Push that leg out to straight. Keep that, the pressure off that right leg. Bring that left knee in. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Push that left leg out straight. Bring that left knee in. Hold behind the thigh, lift that foot up so you straighten the leg into the sky. Push that knee backwards so that you straight, really straighten it while you're holding on to the back of the thigh. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. All those ribs on the ground, lower back slightly lifted, point those toes, flex those feet. Point those toes, so feel the tension. Stretch, uh, flex those feet, feel the tension. Point the toes, circles one way with that foot. Circles the other way with that foot. Let go of that leg, put the arms on the floor, shoulders back and down, ribs on the ground, lower back lifted. Flex the foot and do two, three circles one way with that foot, keeping the center of the circle above the hip. And then three circles the other way. Good, and then bend that knee. Oh no, sorry, keep that leg straight, keep that leg straight. And then drawing in the core, lower, drawing that pubic area in, lower that leg all the way down to the floor. Point that toe, draw in at that pubic area, keep those uh, arms level, keep the, the ribs all on the ground, lift that leg up into the sky. Flex that foot, lower that leg down towards the floor, pushing that hip into the ground. Point that toe, lift that leg up into the sky. Flex that ankle, lower that leg down to the ground. Try and keep your legs straight, mum, as you come down with it, leg straight. Okay, relax, leave those legs there, bring those hands up into the sky, chin into the chest, push your lower back and pelvis into the floor and sit yourself all the way up to vertical. Sit yourself up tall, so hold behind those thighs, push that chest up, push those seat bones into the floor, knees are a bit bent and then push those knees down into the ground and try and sit straight. So I should be sitting straight, my jumper's making me look very sloppy. Okay, relax, grab your roller in and put it long ways on the mat. So we're gonna do a bit of balance, a bit more core stuff. So with the legs moving up and down, so then hop yourself up and sit on the end of your roller. So with your legs moving up and down like that, we need to try to straighten the knees because then you use your, um, oh, that's what we're aiming for. Okay, lower yourself down onto your roller. So heads on the roller, so you should feel it up your spine. So if you've got any particularly tender points, then you lift them away from the roller a bit. So that'll mean that your spine is curving and bending forwards more there. So if I go from my head, the back of my head, I'm just going to rock my head from side to side a bit, and I need to feel the middle of the back of my head on the roller. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, pull them down, and feel those shoulder blades pinching against the roller. Feel that uh, thoracic area parallel to the roller, but light on it. Push the tailbone into the roller, and make sure that your, your lower back is slightly off it and it should be rolling up between your bum cheeks. So if I bring my hands up, feel that pubic bone, feel those bones on the side of my hips, they should feel parallel to the floor, that line. Put those hands back on the floor, palms down, forearms on the ground, elbows are a bit bent. Okay, so drawing in the core like we're stopping yourself having a wee. Rolling slightly onto that left foot, you're gonna bring the right foot up, the right knee up. Hold that leg in the air. Lower that foot down to the floor. Feel how much you have to use your core. 
lift that leg up. So the foot is further down in the starting position. Lower that leg down again. Lift that leg up. Lower that leg down, slide that right leg straight out on the floor without letting the pelvis change. So feel the stretch in the hip flexor, feel the strength in the tummy muscles. Bring that foot back into the bum and bring it back up. Take that foot over down to the floor. Extend that leg out straight. Keep the foot on the floor, push the leg straight, lock the knee. Keep the spine in neutral, bring that foot back in. Bring it back up. Take that foot all the way over down to the floor again. Extend it out straight. Tummy engaged. Keep that pelvis um, uh, in neutral and stretch through that hip flexor. Bring that leg all the way back in. Bring it back up. Pop that foot back on the floor. Roll and lean onto that right foot a bit. So we just roll up, roll towards the right side of touch. Bringing that left leg up into the sky. So neutral spine, shoulders away from the ears. Ribs are all parallel to the roller. <coughs> Next, uh, take that right uh, left foot down towards the floor and bring it back up. So we're going to do two more heel taps. Keep that core strong. Take that heel all the way around to the floor. Tap it down and then bring it back up. So the only thing moving is that leg. Take that leg down to the floor and bring it back up. Notice your ribs are all um, parallel to the roller. Take that left leg down to the floor. Slide that left leg out straight, pull the knee down, lock the knee, feel the stretch through that hip area. Bring that knee and that foot back to the bum, bring that leg back up. Extend that, uh, take that leg over, put it on the floor, extend it out straight, pushing, stretching through the hip flexors. Drawing that heel back into the bum, lift it back up. Take that foot all the way over down to the floor. Extend that leg out straight, lengthening it. And then bring it back in and bring it back up. Pop that foot on the floor. Relax the body. Just rock the roller a little bit. Now draw the core in, get your neutral spine again. Pull those shoulders into the roller. Drink, bring that right leg back up above the hip. Drawing in the core, bring that left leg back up above the hip. If you feel like your tailbone's falling down, then you might not, you might be too far down to the end of the roller. So stabilizing in neutral, we're gonna take that right leg out straight. Parallel to the floor. Parallel to the floor, bring that right leg back in. Keeping neutral spine. Take the left leg out straight. So you have to draw that pelvic, draw that lower back into the roller as you extend. Bring that leg back in. Take the right leg out, draw in that core, keep the shoulders away from the ears. Bring that right leg back in. Take that left leg out, drawing that lower back into the roller. So we're staying in neutral. Bring that left leg back in. Breathing in on the out breath. Right leg out, now lower that right heel to the floor. Keeping that neutral spine, feel the stretch through the front of that hip. Bring that right leg back up to parallel to the floor and bring it back in. Take the left leg out to straight. Lower that left heel to the floor, clenching, keeping neutral spine. Lift that left leg up to parallel to the floor and bring it back into your, uh, above your hip. Take that right leg all the way out straight. Lower that heel to the floor. Lift that leg up straight. Lower that leg to the floor. Lift that leg up straight. One more, lower it to the floor. Bring it up to straight and bring it back in. So mum, your knee needs to be not locked. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to stretch the hip flexors. So when you walk, you go over your foot and your legs behind, so we get that hip flexor stretch. But in order to get the stretch, the tummy muscles have to engage to keep neutral spine. So we're training you to keep your tummy engaged when you walk and allow a stretch in your hip flexors. If you, keep, if you bend your knee when you lower it to the floor, you won't feel the hip flexor. 
So draw that core in, so find neutral. So shoulders into the roller, ribs are all parallel, little back off, little lift off the lower back. Take that left leg out straight so it's parallel to the floor. Bring that leg back in. Same leg, take it out straight so it's parallel to the floor. And then lower the heel to the ground. So knees locked, feel the stretch in that, those hip flexors. So I don't let go of the exercise here. Lift that left leg up, lower the heel to the floor. Lift the leg to parallel to the floor. So we're only moving it for a foot, lower it down. Lift that leg up and then bend it back in. And then put the right foot down, put the rest down and have a, the left down, have a rest. So we're trying to get, we're getting balance um, on the roller. So we're using the shoulders and arms to balance. And we're using the glutes to stabilize as well. And then we're getting the hip flexor stretch whilst using the tummy muscles. Okay, so just sitting here with both feet on the ground, elbows on the floor, rolling those shoulders into the floor, pulling them away from the ears. Draw all those ribs into the roller, lower ribs, middle ribs, top ribs. Little lift off the lower back, flatten that lower back. Move the lower back by tilting the pelvis. Find that neutral position so you can feel your pubic bone and your bony bits on your, on your pelvis if you want. And then on the breathing in and on the out breath, slide both feet out to straight, keeping that core strong. So you have to contract it as you extend. Lock your knees, keep that lower back close to the roller. And then lift that right leg, uh, sorry, slide that right leg back in and then slide that left leg back in. You probably can't do them both together. Bring that right leg uh, up and up above the hip. Bring that left leg up above the hip. Take that right leg down to touch the floor. Take the left leg down to touch the floor. Extend both legs out together, lengthening, keeping that core strong. Bring that right leg back in. Bring the left leg back in. Bring the right knee up above the hip, foot off the floor. Left knee up above the hip, foot off the floor. Holding strong. Let's try taking both those heels over to the floor. Both the heels over, knees stay bent. Keeping yourself strong, slide both legs away to straight. And we're keeping that lower back really firm. If you feel it too much in your lower back, keep the legs separate, don't do them together. Breathing in on the out breath, bring that left leg in, bring that right leg in. So feel the strength in the tummy muscles. Bring that right leg up, bring the left leg up, breathing in. On the out breath, hold yourself in this position. So I'm a bit rocky, I'm gonna lean onto that right, that left shoulder, left elbow, bring that right arm straight up into the sky. Taking that left leg out straight and the right arm over the head, left leg out, right arm over. Bring that arm back, bring that knee back in. So I'm resting, balancing through the left shoulder. Take the right arm out straight, left leg. And then bring it back in. So it's rocky, I'm wobbling a bit. Diagonal again, right arm, left leg. Good, keeping that core strong, bring it back in. Pop that right arm on the floor. Keep yourself strong. Take that left, that right leg out straight. Bring it back in. Bring that left arm up into the sky. Left arm up into the sky. Take that left leg out straight, right arm out straight. Bring that right leg, right arm up, uh, sorry, right leg up, left arm up. Take that arm and leg out straight. Oh, I'm wobbling over. So we'll lean on that right side more. Bring that arm all the way up. Lean on that right side more. Take that right leg out straight, left arm. So as you go out to straight, you feel your core. Bring those arms and legs back in. Put the feet back on the floor. Bring those arms by the side and relax. So when you do diagonals, 
you've got to work harder with the abdominals to keep that back from arching. And the diagonal swing is what happens when we walk and run. We bring the elbow behind, left elbow behind as we step off that right foot. So we have a tension diagonally around the front of the body. All right, breathing in, resting on both those feet, push the heels into the floor, bring both of the arms up into the sky. Thanks, Emma. Bye. Bye, Jane. Both arms up into the sky. Take both arms out wide. So we're pulling those shoulder blades into the roller. Bring both of those arms up into the sky. Take both of those back to the hands out to the floor, arms out wide, pulling those shoulder blades into the roller. Really squeeze on that roller. Feel that neutral spine. Don't let the ribs flare up. Keep the ribs on the roller and keep the lower back um, slightly lifted. Bring those arms up into the sky. So the, the shoulders will bounce around on the roller when you move them. Bring those arms out wide, squeezing those shoulder blades into the roller. So feel the same pressure on, on the roller. Bring those arms all the way up. Bring those hands out wide again, back to the hands to the floor. Glide the hands up towards the top of the head. So you can drift that. Now your hands are about a centimetre or a few millimetres off the ground. They're bouncing and touching. Bring those arms down towards the, the knees. So we're keeping those shoulder blades pulling on the roller. Bring those arms back up to the, up to the top of the head, above the head rather. Keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Bring those arms all the way back down again. Feel the stretch through the front of those arms. Bring those arms back to horizontal shoulder height. Bring those hands all the way up into the sky again. Holding the hands above the shoulder. Now you're going to take your right arm down to your, towards your knee and the left arm over towards the, uh, over the head so they go opposite directions. Keeping neutral. Bring those hands up above the shoulders. Take them the other way. Right arm above the head. Left arm down towards the feet. Bring them back up, keeping those shoulder blades squeezing together. So we're working on stabilizing the shoulder joint. Take those hands to the floor. So you could do this on the floor, but it just feels easier on the roller because you can squeeze the shoulder blades into it. Bring those hands back up above the shoulders. Take the right arm up, left arm down, keeping the shoulders still, keep them away from the ears. Bring the right arm and left arm up, switch. Left arms above the head, right arms down by, by the bum. Both arms up into the sky. Take that left arm out wide. Feel how you use the um, right but uh, the left buttock. Bring that arm up to square. Take the right arm down. Feel how you have to push off the, the right heel and use that right buttock. Bring that arm back up. Take that left arm out wide. Same action, keep pushing through that left buttock, keeping those shoulders back and down, bring that right, uh, left arm back up, lower the right arm down, push through that right heel, right buttock, and then bring that arm back up. Take both hands out wide, and bring both hands back up, and bring both arms down by your side. Rolling those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Push those shoulders away from the ears. Push the bum, uh, uh, lower back into the roller and then roll yourself up to sitting. Roll yourself up to sitting and lift yourself off the roller. Lift yourself off the roller. Okay, sitting up nice and tall. So we'll get away from that for a little bit. That's good, very good for the balance. Swing yourself over onto your tummy. So forehead on the floor, clench the, clench the tummy, clench the bum. So tighten those bum muscles and push the pubic bone into the floor. Draw the tummy in, pull it away from the floor, and roll those shoulders up to the ears, pull them down and back. Tightening with thighs so your knees and feet lift off the ground. In this position, we're going to lift that right leg up and release. And then we clench, lift the left leg up and release. Pushing off the pubic bone, lift the right leg up and release. 
Lift the left leg up. So you feel a bit of stretch in the front of the leg. You won't feel much because you're going against gravity. Clench and lift that right leg. And ease. Right, we're going to do three on the right. Three, two, or one. And then we lift the left leg up and down. And then we do three on that side. And two, and one. Now we're going to do five on the right. Five. Ease, four, ease. No movement of the, of the pelvis, three. No movement of the waist, two. Keeping those shoulders back and down, one. Okay, that left side for five and ease. Four and ease. Three, ease, two and one. Hold, uh, release both legs down to the floor. Roll those shoulders up to the ears down and back. Clench the bum, push the pubic bone in the floor, draw the tummy in, and then lift those hands and forearms up and release. Hands and forearms up and release. Hands and forearms up, hold them there, and now lift the whole arm in the air. For five, tap the elbow down. For four, tap the elbow only down. For three, tap the elbow down. Two, hands above the elbows. One, Hold them in the sky. Trying to put those hands up higher for five, four, three, two, or one. Holding and then lowering down to the ground. Breathing in. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Clench the bum, lengthen the legs that are off the floor. Draw the tummy in. Push off those forearms and lift that uh, throat and chest off the ground. So we're at level one cobra, keeping the bottom ribs on the floor. Knees are off the ground, feet are off the ground. Pulling those elbows towards the feet without moving them. Pulling the breastbone towards the front of the mat without moving that, just creating a tension. Breathing in. Breathing out, release down to flat. Breathing in, roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Pulling those elbows in the floor, clench the bum, lift the legs off the floor. Pulling that breastbone forward, so we're stretching through that chest. Stretching through the front of that body and then lower. Rolling those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Pulling those shoulders and elbows down towards the waist, lifting that chest up. Clenching the bum, lift those legs off the ground, draw the tummy in so it's off the ground too. Breathing in on the out breath, left leg lifts for five, four, three, two, one. Keep the tummy strong. Right left leg lifts for five. So no moving of the lower back. Four, three, two, one. Both legs down, upper body down. So we're going to do that again, but we want you to keep your legs straight. So you're lifting the thighs up. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back, pulling the elbows towards the waist. Lift the upper body up, pushing the breastbone towards the front of the mat. Draw the tummy in so the belly's off the floor. Clench the bum, lift those legs off the ground. So we can do it whichever way around, but we just need to not feel it in the lower back. So that's tummy muscles. So breathing in, tighten those knees, make those legs look like a torpedo, like an arrow. Breathing in on the out breath, lift that left leg up for five, four, three. So the thigh comes off the ground, two, one, good. Now lift the right leg. Thigh comes up for five. Four, feel it in your bum. Three, two, push the chest forward. One, and lower everything down to the ground. Breathing in. Breathing out. <coughs> Roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Slide those hands down towards the uh, bottom ribs. Breathing in, roll those shoulders up to the ears. Clench the bum, lift those legs off the floor. Breathing in, draw that tummy in. Breathing out, push onto those bottom ribs. So we're at level one, no higher. Opening that chest, pull those elbows together behind you. Pull those shoulders together behind you. Holding this position. And then release all the way to the floor. Breathing in. On the out breath, roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Clench the bum, lift those legs off the floor, draw the tummy in. Breathing in on the out breath, lift that chest up off the floor. 
Eyes looking at the front of the mat. Pull those elbows together behind the back. Pull those shoulders together behind the back. Keeping yourself strong, drawing in that tummy. Lift that left leg up for three, two, one. So lifting the thigh, lift the right leg for three, two, one. And then lower. So I'm just guessing you to get your elbows in the right place. So if and when we do up dog, we're not going to do, we might do it to go up. We're going to do it, we're going to have to do it to go up into child pose. So. Clench to the bum, push the pubic bone in the floor, lengthen the legs, lift the knees and feet off the ground. Draw the tummy and lift it up. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Pull the shoulders together, elbows together. Breathing in on the out breath, lift that um, upper body to level one. So we're resting on those bottom ribs. Elbows together, shoulders together behind you. Hands are by my bottom ribs. Breathing in. On the out breath, push off those hands, come to level two on the pubic bone. Push off the hands, come to level three on the knees. Push the bum in the air and go back into child pose, good. Stretching, reaching, oh, let that lower back stretch out. Pushing those hands forward. Walking the hands to the right side of the mat. Stretch through that left side. And then walking the hand to the left side of the mat and stretch through the right side. Bring those hands back to the centre. Pull those knees apart without actually moving them on the mat and lift yourself up onto all fours. Have your hands under your shoulders, knees under the hips. Turn that tailbone down, push the eyes down, bring the back up. Turn that tailbone up, bring the eyes up, bring the belly down, pull those shoulder blades together, good. Bring yourself into neutral and then just glide that bum back to the heels and, and close that hip joint down. Remember what it feels like to shut that hip, keeping the core strong so you're in neutral. Pull the knees away from each other and ping yourself back up onto all fours. Walk your knees forwards and bring yourself to sitting. Legs out in front, pull those toes to your nose, hold behind your thighs, lift yourself up onto that middle bottom, rolling those shoulders, and then release and round yourself forward, keep those knees soft, really bending, trying to get the armpits over the knees, pushing forward over those feet. And then bringing yourself up to vertical, rolling those shoulders up to the ears down and back. Hold behind the thighs, push the head up above the middle bottom. Push that right knee down, push that left knee down. So use your heels to keep yourself forward on that middle bottom. Bring those arms up in front of you. Bring those arms all the way up above your head. Bring those arms all the way out wide behind. Bring them all the way back to the floor. Sweep them all the way up in the sky, nice big circle following that track. Take them all the way up in the sky, leave them there this side, palms together. Lift that chest up, push those hands up. Breathing in, reach those arms, try and get your hands to the sky, mum. Good, chest forward, good. Breathing out, release those arms out wide. Rest them on your legs and roll your shoulders. Well done, that was good.